let us see about refraction so what's refraction refraction is nothing but the change in direction of a wave as it crosses the boundary between two media in which the wave travels at different speeds so you can see here the change in direction of the wave so this is considered to be medium 1 and medium 2 in which the wave is traveling at different speeds if you see over here in the medium 1 you can see the different wave form whereas in the medium 2 you can see how the wave is getting to be refracted So let us see about convex lenses. In general, convex lenses are thicker in the center than edges. Lens that converges that is brings together light rays and when it forms some real images and virtual images depending on the position of the object you can see the convex lens over here in the depiction of where we have an object placed over here passing through a light rays through the conca convex lens the image has been formed so this is nothing but how the position of the object forms the real images and the virtual images. This depiction is stating about the parallel rays from distant object where we have the convex lens that is converging lens. So it is getting to be passed on through the convex lens and we have the focal point over here if we consider about concave lens concave lens are thicker at the edges and thinner in the center The concave lenses diverge light rays and the images of the concave lenses are erect and it is reduced. You can see here how the parallel rays from distant object has been passed on and the concave lens that is the diverging lens is getting to be reflecting the object so let us see how the concave lenses that is the diverging lens acts upon we have a focal point f and 2f is considered to be two times of the focal point and we have the principal axis in the middle So if we consider this one, this is the image which we have considered. The image location, size, orientation and type emphasizes for the object which we have taken up and placed in the axis, that is the principal axis. When we see an object from here through the principal axis
the blue line formation over here is depicting how the concave lens that is the diverging lens is getting to be viewed off so this is the angle of how the image or object will be looked like So this dotted line specifies and it is getting to be passed on through the object to the focus that is which is placed on the principal axis and it is getting to be reflected back which is seen through the naked eye. The image is always between F that is the focus point and the lens behind the lens. So this is the convex mirror that is the diverging mirror. This one is the principal axis and which we already know this is the focal length and this one is considered to be the center of curvature so this is the image formation by converging lens you can see the object over here and the image location and you can see how it is getting to be converged now we shall see about the diverging lenses so you can see the difference of how the converging lens and diverging lens is all about diverging lenses are biconcave so you can see here the focus point and we have placed the biconcave lens in the principal axis On both sides of the diverging lens we have the focus point which is stated as F so in the depiction it is clearly observed how the diverging lens will reflect if the image is placed on it So this is considered to be the object and we have ray 1 and ray 2 so the ray 1 is diverged over here and ray 2 is diverged in this way so this is considered to be the virtual image because ray 1 and ray 2 do not actually intersect you can see here these two rays are not getting to be intersected So in this diagram F which is considered to be focus is lesser than 0 and P is considered to be greater than 0 and Q is considered to be lesser than 0. So these are nothing but the ray 1 and ray 2 diverging lens formation. So this is the rules for the diverging lenses. The first one is considered to be parallel away from the focus. You can see 
this one is not so this one is considered to be focus point and this is the principal axis the second one is which is passing through the center and the third one is which is to focus of parallel so this is parallel to the focus so these are nothing but the rules of diverging lens these are the three rules so here you can see here clearly how the diverging lens image formation will be so this is the principal focus and this is considered to be the optical center so these are always virtual smaller and it is right side up you can see the direction as well over here 